Hello everyone, Genma the Samurai here, and welcome back to this part of Metroid Prime. Alright guys, so last time we arrived here in the Phazon Mines, I'm gonna go for it again. Frick it, ow, I got hit by one of them. But yeah, we arrived here in the Phazon Mines, and we're gonna explore the rest of it. Hopefully, you know, I can get through this place without dying, because that's going to be an issue. Um, hello. Hmm. I like that bit of foreshadowing. But yes, so... Anyways, or not necessarily foreshadowing, but you kind of get to see something. If you've been paying attention to the lore, you guys can figure some of that stuff out. Um, in the meantime, I'm just going to be standing from a distance and, uh... <laughs> okay. Uh, let me go there. Okay. Um... Alright, well, that's... Missiles are good. It's not what I wanted, but missiles are good. Oh, um, this is funny. So you notice there's like weird green fog coming out. Um, I think if I scan it, maybe it'll tell me something, but no. Either way, let's do that. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, anytime you come into this room, just shoot that box. It'll kill the creatures that are hiding in it. Um, now, they won't jump you from the other side as well, so it's just, it's just nice. Um, thank you. Okay. Uh, I needed more health than that, but I mean, I guess I'll take it. Oh boy, I'm gonna fight this. This is not gonna be fun. Hey there, Omega Pirate! How you doing, buddy? Hey, that's a nice cannon you got there up on your shoulder. Yeah, these guys suck. These guys suck a lot. So, here's the thing that I don't like about these guys, is they have this, like, stupid hand move that, like, sucks up, like, all of your frickin' beans. Stupid. Yeah, so, my personal suggested way to go about taking care of this guy is to use the ice beam. Just because you're not using a ton of missiles, and it does, like, again, shotgun damage. So, really, it's gonna be pretty good. And this guy moves so slow, it's not going to be all that good at dodging that stupid beam anyway. So, let's keep doing that for a bit. Yep. My gun freaking freezing over. So, let's go there. Keep shooting you. Okay. Come on. Yes. Boom! Haha! <laughs> Take that! The thing is, that is one of the tougher enemies in this game. Uh, what the frick? Oh. Oh, okay. You're gonna do that now, huh? Alright. I see. I see, you jerk. That t Come on, I didn't even have time to react to that. I just took damage. So dumb. Okay. That's the first time I've had that happen to me. Okay, I want to try and provoke this next guy. And do... Ah, okay. I want to scan him. Okay. So that is an ice pirate. The actual easiest one to take out. If they were all the Ice Pirate, I would be really happy. <laughs> I think they nerfed, or they actually buffed the stupid Ice Pirates in Wii. Uh, here you can use a missile, I don't think you can use missiles on them in Wii. Anyway, Pirate Data. Science team is attempting to reverse engineer Samus Aran's arsenal. Based off of data acquired from her assaults on her forces, progress is slow but steady. Command would dearly enjoy turning Aaron's weapons against her. We believe we can implement beam weapon prototypes in three cycles. Aaron's power suit technology remains a mystery, especially the curious morph ball function. All attempts at duplicating it have ended in disaster. Four test subjects were horribly broken and twisted when they engaged our morph ball prototypes. The science team wisely decided to move on afterward. Yeah, the morph ball. That's funny. <laughs> okay. So, here you can learn about the little security forces and stuff. Oh, there's more pirate data. Okay. Security command, I security command issued an all points alert after the fall of Zevis. The alert concerns Bioform Samus Aran, also known as the Hunter. Subject is a female hominid and is heavily armed and extremely dangerous. Subject uses a powered armor suit of unknown design in battle, along with a number of potent beam weapons and, co and concussive weapons. All combat units are instructed to terminate Aaron on sight, preferably in a fashion that will allow salvage of her powered armor suit and weapons. A considerable bounty will go to the unit who delivers Aaron to command. Dead or alive, it matters not. Hmm. Alright. 
Test subject ZD, hereafter referred to as Metroid Prime, was recently discovered in a cavern by mining crews. It, it quickly dispatched the miners, but was eventually contained by security units and drones. Once contained, we were able to begin studies upon Metroid Prime. The results have been astonishing. It is genetically similar to Metroid's, albeit on a highly evolved level. It displays a limitless capacity for phase-on infusion and shows no phase-on-based degeneration whatsoever. It continues to grow in size, and while it has manifested some psychotic behavior, the cold fields we use to pacify remain effective. Authorization for advanced studies on Metroid Prime have been approved. Gotcha. Okay, well, with that, let's move on. So, it's still funny how they included that log about them trying to recreate the stupid morph ball. <laughs> like, like, I don't know. I mean, I guess it is pretty useful from first-hand experience, but I think, like, on the other hand, they'd be like, what is this weird ability? Okay. Is there another red scan here? I don't know. I'm gonna read this one. Evaluation of plasma artillery cannons is complete. The weapons are fully functional, but a flaw has been discovered. Subpar thermal shielding gives them a high heat signature. This can make them easier to target for enemies with enhanced vision capabilities. Mmm, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Oh man, this gave me so much reading this part. Alright. There have been numerous incidents involving spectral entities at Chozo ruined sites. Several personnel have been assaulted by these Chozo ghosts. Few have survived. Survivors speak of swift attacks from nowhere, brief sightings of the enemy, then nothing, only to be followed by another attack. The science team believes these attacks are in response to our efforts to, to recover Chozo relics and artifacts. However, these entities are able to interact with the physical world and it appears they wish to keep their artifacts to themselves. We will make them pay for such arrogance, for even ghosts can be destroyed. Hmm. Okay. Subject Metroid Prime's breach has been contained. Reports indicate that it sensed a large batch of raw phazon in a lab from its within its stasis tank and broke through the glass, using previously unsuspected strength. Besides consuming all the phase on Metroid Prime has assimilated several weapons and defense systems from security units, and has suffered no ill effects from said assimilation. In, indeed, it, it, it I cannot talk. Indeed, it began to use its newly acquired weapons against us. Once we pacified it, we were unable to remove the assimilated gear without threat to Metroid Prime. The gear is now an integral part of its body. Command is intrigued by this newfound ability, and has ordered further study to commence at once. So I really like that lore. It explains something later, but uh, it's not considered canon anymore because they removed that one. Um, now, there's other lore they added that also works, and there are things that don't make sense about it, but I really like that lore. Anyway, so that's going to open the force field, and this one is more pirate data. Metroid Prime continues to feed and grow ever larger in the impact crater caves. Its hunger knows no bounds and has begun to manifest unusual mutations since its breach. These include armor plating on its epidermis and mechanical outgrowths that generate j defense screens. These screens render it invulnerable to most weapon systems, but a flaw in the mutation leads to increased vulnerability to certain weapons. It compensates for this by shifting the screens quickly. This latest development concerns security units greatly. They feel it's a matter of time before Metroid Prime corrects this defect and renders itself invulnerable to all weaponry. Containment would be nigh impossible if this were to occur. Mmm. Alright, let's read this one. We are particularly interested in a number of curious Chozo artifacts. We have been able to recover from a number of religious sites in Talon 4. These relics resonate with power, and yet we are unable to harness them in any way. The science team is attempting to fuse them together with Phazon, believing that a link might exist between them. <laughs> we know that these artifacts are linked to the Chozo temple that blocks full access to the impact crater. We have yet to crack this enigma, however. Command grows impatient regarding this matter. Results must be produced soon. Mmm, okay. Results are in from field studies on extinct bioform group Chozo. We believe that Talon 4 was once a stronghold in a great Chozo empire brought low by the meteor strike. Planetary devastation brought an end to the Chozo, yet remains of their society remain. We are studying these relics in an attempt to harness their power. What is of no use to us, we destroy. And we destroy. In time we shall have all we need from this dead race, and shall wipe this planet clean of their ugly ruins. The dead should serve the living, not hinder them. Dang, guys, you are jerks. It's okay, we're moving on. So, ah, that was a lot of reading. But yeah, um, Metroid Prime, huh? All right. God, I hate this. So they make this room really dangerous to walk into. Um, I'm going to move over here. 
Uh, that way we won't get attacked by the stupid poison. All right, so let's see. Any scans from this? Nope. Okay. Uh. Frick. Ow. You know, I think it would be a neat touch if all of these guys used, like, if their beams change to the color of the suits they're using. Okay. Come on, die. Die. Okay. So, about you. Um, let's do that. Let's attack you. And keep attacking you. Okay. What the frick are you standing on? What the frick are you standing on? What are you standing on? Okay. Oh, I see. He landed probably on that. That's funny. Okay, well, I'm gonna head over here. I'm gonna break these boxes. And actually, I think after I do this part, I'm gonna get some food, guys, because I feel I'm getting hungry. But it's okay. So, let's kill this guy. Snipe him from afar. Okay, so now that one's dead. Let's go over here. Ow. Where are you? Okay, I found you. Let's go here and boom. Alright, that one's dead. One more. I think it's only one more. Okay. Alright, come on. Ow! Stop! Gosh, these guys hurt. Okay. What about you? What do you have to say? Pirate data. Okay. <laughs> Elite pirates Upsilon's propensity for phason has enabled our research team to abuse it far beyond our safety restrictions, and the results have been extremely encouraging. Its constant phase on diet has increased its mass exponentially, but has retained all mental faculties and shows dexterity with all elite weaponry, including plasma inc incendiary launchers and chameleon manta issued for cloaking purposes. Elite pirate Upsilon exhibits miraculous healing abilities. When injured, it seeks out phase on deposits and coats itself in the substance, which instantly meds the creature's wounds. The subject, which we are codenaming Omega Pirate based on these developments, shows potential to be a new standard for our armies. Our only concern at this point is its potential over-dependence on Phazon. Yeah. Um, that guy. That's a thing. That is a thing. Mm. Anyway, onward. So. <sighs> Gosh. So. Much. Reading. Uh, okay, this part's gonna suck. This part's gonna suck a lot. Um, okay. I'm just gonna move on. I'm tired of reading. Ugh. Okay. Where are you? There you are. So this is a really annoying enemy. Uh, you cannot see it. Oh boy. Stop. Stop. Okay. Ow. Stop. Okay. Frick off. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Right, so here's the thing about this guy is you gotta like free aim the crud out of this guy. Alright. Ugh. Yeah, you can't lock onto him. It's basically just one of those dudes but invisible. And he doesn't have a unique scan, so don't even worry about that. But. Ugh. Here's the thing when you have to fight that guy is if you haven't been careful watching your health, he will screw you over because yeah, uh, we haven't run into a single save point in this entire time and ugh. Okay, let's go down here. Um, huh. Okay, here's another thing. This puzzle, you can take damage during it, so be incredibly careful not to get yourself killed because that would be sad times. Alright, so um go here right okay ah, this place okay we're moving on word I mean we have two tanks of health but this is also hard mode it could take a lot more damage out of me than I would think here's the thing in my practice runs okay it's about 10 damage that's livable um, but yeah in my practice runs I only did like normal mode basically so 
Um, this is my first time really doing a full hard mode playthrough on GameCube since my Let's Play, like, years ago. Um, so I'm totally forgetting, like, how much damage you actually take. Uh, which is evidently a lot, that's for sure. Um, <clears throat> let's go here. Oh gosh, I feel my voice going too. <laughs> let's hope that doesn't become a thing, but okay, let's go here. And boom. <coughs> Power bomb acquired. Yes. Okay, so with that, guys, we have power bombs, and that's going to be really helpful. Um, real quick, let me go over here. Um, I think this is where I want to go, but I'm not sure. Let's do this. Boop. Okay. Is that pro that's progress, not where I want to go. I want to go through that door. Um, okay. Ugh. So, yeah, um, this place is pretty ruthless. You want to be really careful not to die when you reach that turret. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to save, but thank you very much. Okay. So, with that, now we have all of our health back. Thank God. Okay. There should be boxes around here somewhere. But for now, we're actually going to head over towards that guy. And, yeah, see what's over here. So, something I find really neat about this room is you have all of these freaking turrets. Um, let's beeline it over here. And we're going to drop right on in. Okay. Um, boom. Okay. Let's hide right behind this. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Ha ha ha. Take that. Jeez, that did so much damage. Okay. Let's, uh, open this door. Let's see what's here. Hmm. I see. Let me scan that real quick. Warning, force field disengaged. Metroid containment area will be breached. Well, sucks to be you guys. Alright, let's watch this happen. Ugh. See, they're so freaking creepy. Yeah, this music used to get me so freaking bad when I was young. Like, anytime this played, I was like, okay, nope, this is going to be, uh, nightmare inducing, that's for sure. Okay, so there's one Metroid somewhere around here. I see there's two of them in this room, of course, so, okay. There's the next one. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, so you're coming to me. Bye. What's nice about the Ice Beam is it just, like, gets rid of the problem of Metroids, I'll be honest. Okay, where? Where? Ow. Where? Okay. Where? Uh... Where even? You clip through the wall. What? Where are you? Are you up there? What? Huh? I'm really confused. Did it clip through the wall? I've never seen that happen. What? Dude, I think it clipped through the wall. Actually, what? Hold on. Yeah! It was in the wall! <laughs> okay, that's new. That's certainly new. I don't know if it's because it was on emulator that did that, but... Yeah, so around here, the hint system would actually kick in and tell you that you should go uh, back to Talon Overworld. Um, so we're actually going to go do that, but... Um, there's one more thing that I need to collect before I go there, so we're gonna head this way. <laughs> I've never seen those things clip through the wall like that. That's actually kind of funny. Um, okay. Alright, bye you two. Alright. Oh, and I got a power bomb back. That's sweet. So yeah, power bombs are not very high in ammunition, and I'm going to go ahead and say right now they're not as good as they are in the 2D games. Uh, if you know anything about how they are in the 2D games, they basically just kill everything on screen, like, right then and there. Um, now in this one, they do one-hit kill most things, but you don't get very many of them to use. And on top of that, 
Um, they don't cover basically a whole screen like they do in frickin', um, you know, Super Metroid. So, yeah. Yeah. They still work pretty well, though. I never really use them for combat that much, though. I do in Wii on a few occasions, but I'll cover that later. Um, okay. Let's do that. Oh, boy. Just kill you. Okay. Frick off. Okay, let's do that. Come on, dude. Wait, don't you have anything better than that to use? Okay. Yeah, just keep doing that, man. See what it gets you. <laughs> Alright, and... Yeah, just keep doing that, bro. Alright, bye. So, yeah, there's one specific area in this that I do want to go to and get an ability from before we end off this part. Um, shouldn't take too long to get back there, but yeah, this area is kind of gigantic. I will say that much um, Okay, let's go here real quick power bomb this All right And with that we can jump up here scan you and very good Yes so here's the thing about power bombs is that the specific alloy that they destroy is bendesium. So a lot of those areas before that we couldn't actually explore through, we can actually go back and fully explore now. And that's really cool. Um, but anyway, let's actually use this half pipe and get back up. Fun fact though, I didn't really figure out I could do that for the longest time. So I usually just kind of took cheap damage every single time I walked through this room when I was younger. Um, Call me stupid, I deserve it, but yeah, that's just how it went. Um, anyway, in the meantime, there's actually a room over here that we can actually go into. I might as well show it off while I'm here. Um, I'll use one power bomb on this. Um, kaboom! And then we go over here, and there will be this one room that I don't want to fully explore yet because I don't have the abilities to really fully explore it, but it's here. Um, in the meantime, we're gonna go back. Um, <laughs> I might as well have done that later, but eh, I felt like doing it right now. So, let's move on. Okay. So, I'm just gonna jump around you guys. Frick you. I don't even care. Okay. Oh boy. I have to wait for- okay. Okay, that didn't end up that bad. I thought I'd have to wait for a very long time. Okay. So, the room I'm trying to get back to is that one with the, um rotate pillar with the uh, spider ball rails um, so we're gonna be heading over there pretty darn soon so yeah I mean this area is probably yeah it's definitely the largest area in the game and it's kind of broken up into sections and I remember trying to navigate the map was like incredibly confusing when I was younger because I couldn't like figure out like wait where does this go this elevator and uh, now I just kind of have it like memorized without really needing to look at the map much uh, but it is certainly a thing you do have to worry about to some degree. Uh, also in this room now are Metroids. So that's what happened right there. Um, where the frick are you? I saw you right there. Okay. So let's go over here and jump our way into this. And right. Now I know for a fact... Oh, thank you. I just realized that was there. Sweet, I got another power bomb. But yeah, um, one thing about Metroids though is that they freak out my friend Snivy. <laughs> Anytime they showed up, he was like, yeah, hate him. Uh, it actually really sucks when they do get on your face. I have had them kind of like jump scare me several times before. Um, one thing about this game, uh, and it's like alien parallels, is that uh, one thing that, you know, is famous about the alien movies are the face huggers. And um, while these things don't function much like those weird face hugger things, they are creatures that hug your face. So, I mean, you know, let's go there. Okay. And now we're gonna go here and. Okay, boop. Right. But gosh, yeah, I've seen the first uh, Alien movie. I should probably watch the sequels at some point, but I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um. 
I don't think it really scared me. Maybe because I'm just used to that kind of weird imagery at this point from <laughs> this series, but who knows. Either way, let's go here. Boom. And, uh, let's attack you. Bye. Okay. There's points where I don't like the slow turn of my camera. Um, just because, like, say if that Metroid's, like, right behind me, I just kind of want to snap back there and just kill it. But because it doesn't work like that, you know how it is. And I can only really lock on to things that are kind of directly in my camera view, so I really don't think that this camera is exactly perfect. Uh, it certainly has its issues at points, but most of the time, uh, it works out. The game was designed enough around it. So let's go here. Okay. Mm, boop. Okay, let's snap down. And there we go. So, that's a cool little room. There's nothing really hidden there. It's just a room that's there. Alright, so with that, we're going to go to that save point, and I'm going to end off, guys. So, I want to thank you so much for tuning in to this part of Metroid Prime. Hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah, see you guys next time where we return to Talon Overworld and actually a number of different places to collect a bunch of, I of items. So, I'll see you guys then. Hope you guys enjoy. Mm, bye!